Somerville is home to about 80,000 residents. At least a quarter of these are immigrants, meaning aggressive anti-immigrant actions taken by the Trump administration concern many. Last Thursday, immigrants and migrant advocacy groups met at the City Hall to discuss new potential changes to the federal public charge rule, which is aimed at making acquiring a green card difficult for immigrants who have ever relied on U.S. social welfare programs, like food stamps or Medicaid. Executive Director and Lawyers for Civil Rights Ivan Espinosa said many immigrants have been withdrawing from life-saving welfare benefits out of fear of being deported. The level of, um, of missed appointments and people not showing up is at an all-time high. And so people are removing themselves from life-saving medical care and treatment. And that puts us all in danger. If kids are being brought for vaccines, right? What is the harm that that poses to all of us? And so these are real harms that, that people are facing. Up to 650,000 people could be affected by this new rule every year. In Somerville, this would include hundreds of children in public schools who are likely already being affected negatively. We have an administration that is doing everything Thing to, to make immigrants not to feel welcome. With that stress at home, being frightened, um, then you go to school, you are expected to learn. Um, so we, you might come from a household that it's already you could be strapped in, in cash. Um, they could be experiencing food insecurity. They could be experiencing homelessness. Um, on top of all, we expect this kid to come to school on October 11, federal judges temporarily blocked the proposed rule change, which was to take effect on October 15, but it is just one of several measures the administration is pushing to try to reduce immigration and asylum applications. You know, the morality of this is it's really horrific. Um, we're talking about keeping families apart. We're talking about destroying the support systems that families represent. Um, you know, we're talking about saying, no, we don't care that you, know, you have loved ones. Uh, we're going to, you know, keep you all by yourself. We don't care. Advocacy groups want migrants to seek assistance and not be afraid. I can only imagine the chilling effect our patients have because we see the numbers down in people coming for their health care. I'm finding myself retaining less and just being more emotional about this issue, so I hope I don't confuse anything. For a few years now, we have been funding activities in the community, at churches, etc., vis-a-vis education in um, three languages, and we welcome anyone who, uh, who know of other places we should be to let us know we have some emergency funding for families. Whatever the cost decision is, one thing is clear. Rules like public charge make immigrants, undocumented or not, feel less welcome and afraid. For Somerville Neighborhood News at City Hall, I'm Kemeni Amano.